when it comes to shoes that sort of split the community in half, this right here is one of them. What's good guys, Ash Bash back again with another sneaker review and this is for the Sakai Nike LVD Waffle. That's a mouthful. So yes, if you're living under a rock and you're not on Instagram, you might have not seen these sneakers before, but if you're on Instagram, you're into sneakers, you've definitely seen these sneakers before. They were flooding my feed. Ever since they came out, they've been flooding my feed. And the more I see them, I'm more like, they're actually pretty dope. And with me, cause I'm an idiot and I have issues, I got these shoes time ago. Whenever they released, I got them. I can't remember when it was now, two, three weeks ago, maybe even more. And they've just been sitting here because I'm weird and I like to sort of see shoes for the first time when I'm doing my unboxings and all that. So I've not really looked at them, tried them on, anything like that until now. So that's been waiting for this moment and I've quit being lazy. So we're getting to this review. So let's get into it. So the box is pretty cool. Not your typical Nike box. It's got Nike written there in like sort of shiny right and you can't really see it. When you have two pairs of the shoes together, it actually spells out Nike. It's got the Nike N here and the swoosh. On the other side, it's got the rest of it, IKE, but when you put the other box next to this box, I believe, I'm sure I've seen it, it spells out Nike. So that's pretty cool. Uh, on the box itself, I've got these in the UK 10, and it says Nike LD Waffle, and the colorway is Varsity Blue, but there's obviously more colors going on than that. So if not the box, I'll show you the shit. So it is another slide out box, which is cool and it has got some special Sakai uh, paper on it as well. Always love some special paper. It's just a nice little touch you can add in, especially with a collab. And boom, here is the sneaker in all its weird, quirky, double trouble, double bubble uh, glory. What a crazy shoe. It almost doesn't make sense, but it does make sense. It kind of in hand doesn't make sense. So you can see it on feet, see it on IG and you're like, kind of get it i guess but yeah it's a weird shoe my girlfriend hates it with a passion i don't think she even knew that i had these every time i see her on ig she's like oh i hate that shit i'm like raw you know i've got them right she's like no you haven't only the other day i showed them to her and she was like wow you actually do have them but yeah so details of this shoe um it has got two names to it as you know it's the lvd waffle and that's because they went back into the like archives and picked out two shoes what sakai did and he picked out the LVD and the Waffle, two running shoes from back, back in the day, and basically merged them together to make this monstrosity or whatever you want to call it for this shoe here. So pretty much the theme you'll see of the shoe is double everything, like double everything, literally. So let's start with, I guess, the craziest part of the shoe. So let's start with the sole of the shoe. So the sole of the shoe is from the Waffle, supposedly, it was called the waffle because it was made for waffle iron back in the day, if that makes sense to you. But once you get past the random sole and the normal midsole, you get this crazy chunk at the back of the shoe here that sticks out maybe an inch or so. Like it's absolutely bonkers. I'm not sure how that's gonna last over time. I've seen a video of somebody cutting it off. Didn't look like it was the best decision at the time, but it's something that people have been doing, I guess. But yeah, it sticks out, makes it super duper quirky and I guess Double trouble, as I've been saying. Another double sole here. Some more hits that makes it double is uh, the front of the shoe here. It's got the, obviously the red part here, which is done in this pretty nice, it's like a ruffled suede, shall we say. And right behind it, underneath it, double again, is the blue one. So obviously one is from the waffle, one is from the LDV. Very nice touch. Again, on the lateral side of the shoe, you've got double trouble again with two swooshes. You've got a yellow one here and a silver one right behind it. And behind all that is this mesh uh, from the shoe. None of you can see it on this video where it looks like it's white behind it. It's because it's got this insole uh, insert bit behind it. But basically, this bit is totally see-through. So kind of like what you get with the um, Element 87s. Socks are going to be a big factor in this. And especially if you don't get the right size in this and you wear white socks, you're going to see your toes with a big gap, which I have on. I think one of my Element 87s and it's annoying, makes me not wanna wear the shoe. Uh, medial side, exactly the same again, nothing crazy to see here. Laces on the shoe, more double trouble. Comes with two different laces, which is an absolute nightmare to take out, I must say. 
and it's got white and gray laces uh, mix matched within there. The tongue, it's got a mesh tongue with two laces on it, two tongues on it again. One is a Nike sportswear tongue and behind it is a Nike Sakai tongue. Seen some disasters of people pulling the tongue and it's coming off. Hopefully that's not a defect that I have and everyone has, but I've seen it and that doesn't look cool. Uh, again here, just around the lace loops, you've got more of that double trouble with the blue and red. Why am I keep saying double trouble? What the hell's wrong with me? Uh, yeah, on the shoe, uh, inside the shoe and the insole, it's got Nike and Sakai. Uh, cool had have overlaid it again, like the whole Nike Sakai logo. And back of the heel, they have the same thing again, it's in silver with Nike Sakai written there again. Then it's got a red heel hair and it's got more of this yellow inliner for the shoe. It's very cool. It's definitely weird, but it's also cool at the same time. Anywho, gonna throw them on feet, show you what they're like, see if you actually like them, let go. And we're back. That was a quick look at the Sakai LVD waffle uh, on feet. Crazy shoe. Uh, comfort wise, pretty comfortable. And sizing wise, hmm. For me, these fit me fine. Uh, I've heard a lot of people going half a size down. If you like a snug fit, probably half a size down is the way to go. As I was saying, with the whole white socks, which I don't actually wear that often anyways, you'll definitely see your toes if they don't go to the end. And I've seen that a lot on IG people. Obviously didn't know what the sizing was like, went, went TTS and there's a little bit of a gap. There's a tiny bit of a gap for me, but not major. So I'm pretty cool with going true to size on these. Good enough to say I'd recommend true to size, but if you got, I don't know, if you like a snug fit, yeah, maybe go half a size down to be safe. Best bet is always, if you can try it on somewhere, try it on. But my recommendation is half a size down. Definitely from people I've spoken to, they seem to find that a little bit better. But for me, true to size is totally fine. If you go with Eva, I don't think you're gonna cry about it anyways. But yeah, that's the shoe. Super duper bonkers, but super cool at the same way. Uh, the more I see pictures of the green pair online, I think they're actually more fire. But there's also two other colorways coming out, like a black and a white, and I think it's gray and white as well. Both very cool. I'll probably be interested in them as well. But anywho, end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Ashbash Sneakers. Dope pictures pretty much every day. I'm out. Later, y'all.